do well. Reserve some for the foundlings. As it should always be. The foundlings are the future. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. Hello YouTube, welcome back to Chelsea Scour Channel. Today I'm here with the world's biggest Star Wars collection, the one that owns it. And he has a huge Star Wars collection, he has a huge museum, and it's really cool. So I have six questions, so I'll start with first one. Let me introduce myself. I'm Steve Sansweet, and this is Rancho Obi-Wan in Northern California. How did you get into Star Wars? I got into Star Wars at the Wall Street Journal when I was a reporter when Star Wars first came out. Somebody sent a brochure to try to get movie theaters to actually play the movie, and somebody at the Wall Street Journal, a reporter, got it, threw it into his trash can, and I rescued it. And that was my first Star Wars item. And then I saw the movie on the back lot of 20th Century Fox and got blown away. Hmm. And I love Star Wars from that first moment. Got it out of the trash can, would have never expected that. Did you try to have the biggest collection in the world? It just sort of happened. I didn't set out to be the biggest collector. It just, one thing led to another and I kept buying stuff and all of a sudden it kept piling up got bigger and bigger and I started looking for a place to store it. I lived in Los Angeles and I had a one story house that was on stilts in the hills and I added a second story. Two years later, I added a third story underneath and I still ran out of space. Wow. What is your favorite movie? It goes back and forth between Star Wars and The Empire Strikes Back, but I think I've sort of landed on Star Wars because without Star Wars, the first movie, none of this would have been possible. Yeah, my favorite's Return of the Jedi. That's a cool movie too. Yeah. I love the Ewoks. I do too, my favorite's Wicked. Have you ever fired the rocket Boba Fett? Once. Well, do you know how far it went? Not very far at all. Oh. <laughs> and then Seth Green punked me once. I showed him, he said, could I handle the rocket firing Boba Fett? And I said, well, sure, but don't do anything with it. And he said, no, he said, okay. And he pretended that he was trying to fire it. And I went, ah! <laughs> he didn't. What is your favorite piece? I think my very favorite piece in the collection is whatever I got in the mail today or recently. And a canvas banner that was used back in 1976, the year before Star Wars came out, at a fan convention, two fan conventions, by the guy who was the head of marketing and licensing and merchandising for Star Wars, a guy named Charlie Lippincott. And it has the original Star Wars logo on it that was hand-painted by a guy named Joe Johnston, who was head of Industrial Light and Magic, head of the art department. And he went on to become a director of Jumanji and some of the Jurassic Park movies and other movies. And it used a triangle logo with the original Luke Starkiller in it. That was the original name for Luke. Oh, huh. didn't know that that was his original name. What, were, what was it like to work with George Lucas? George Lucas is a very busy man and a very creative guy and a very nice guy. So when I worked at Lucasfilm for 15 years, there would be occasions when I would actually work directly with him and it was a great experience, a very creative experience. Wow.
So thank you guys for watching my first video. Bye!